What's up dudes, Max here, back with another update revolving around the biggest game at the moment, which is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I didn't want to blitzkrieg all of your sub boxes with Marvel Infinite news, but there has been some stuff over the past few days that is pretty damn relevant, especially related to the X-Men and Fantastic Four end of characters that were rumored not to be in this version of Marvel vs. Capcom. As we made a video about before, the main focus of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite seems to be around the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which notably doesn't contain a lot of X-Men characters. Most of the Marvel vs. Capcom titles going up into this one were kind of grass-rooted in Jim Lee's 90s X-Men characters, and that seems to be a big change going forward with this game. However, this has changed quite a bit ever since PlayStation Experience after the game was announced because it was one of the biggest questions that a lot of the guys at Marvel and Capcom were receiving about this game. And I also kind of have my first-hand account of myself talking to people that work at Capcom and Marvel that are directly associated with this game and what they were telling me and what other people are hearing right now. Essentially, the development of this game seems to be a lot different than all the other Marvel vs. Capcom titles because I was talking to the guys at Marvel that are directly responsible for the creation of this game, as well as the producer for the title at Capcom, and these guys seem really down to earth, and in all honesty, this development process is a lot different than all the previous Marvel vs. Capcom titles, which usually involved Capcom going to Marvel, asking for licenses for characters, and then they go and make the game. But what I was told directly from Mike who works at Marvel and Mike who works at Capcom is that this is a much different process. This game is being collectively made by Marvel and Capcom to hopefully make sure things like licensing issues, if not characters and other issues that would show up in development in the past don't become a problem here, mostly because Mike, who's over at Marvel, is actually an ex-Capcom employee who very much understands the games industry, and this is also hugely relevant to the giant change that Marvel Games is going through right now, where they're heavily focusing on the quality of Marvel Games products, actually putting the development of those games not internally, but into the hands of other developers like Capcom and the guys at Insomniac making the Spider-Man game, which is a huge change over the past many years and is a great thing to say the least in regards to Marvel properties and games in the future. But what does this mean about the X-Men? Because a lot of the hiccups regarding Marvel and X-Men characters mostly comes within films of those characters or depictions of them in film. While when it comes to games, we've seen things like the Marvel Heroes game, the Contest of Champions, that have several X-Men characters and depictions of Doctor Doom and also came out within the last year. So obviously there's some element of disconnect happening here when it comes to X-Men being allowed in Marvel associated titles, which mostly means movies at this point. However, with many of the rumors that were heard for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, this game was going to heavily focus on the MCU for its primary roster, and that is definitely standing true with what we're seeing so far of the game. But as I was speaking to many of these developers and these guys regarding the game who were very down to earth, whenever they were asked about this, including with myself questioning them, they seem to give the impression that we should not worry, and the fact that the legacy of the X-Men characters in the Marvel vs. Capcom titles is not going to be forgotten. The other thing to back this up is that there was a leaker dropping some serious news that did end up coming true for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, is also talking about the fact of X-Men characters making an appearance later down the line in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and he was told that with complete certainty that X-Men and Fantastic Four characters are going to be coming to this game, but they will be as DLC. Which is making me think that a lot of the rumors talking about this game being a Marvel Cinematic Universe title are indeed true, because that was actually probably a part of the deal early on, since this game has been in development for quite a long time. Most of the changes that have happened revolving around Marvel games have been over the past like year and a half to two years or so, which is probably very early on when this game started its development and they were focusing it on being an MCU game but they later realized that due to huge fan requests and the fact that people really like the damn X-Men characters in Marvel vs. Capcom games, well, they obviously can't leave them out, 
which makes sense that they would be added as DLC, which is the final thing that they'd be developing after the base game is done. So I am pretty damn confident that we're gonna see the X-Men characters in this game that we remember from previous titles, and if they're really popular and they sell well as DLC, then I really have no doubt that we can see all the really popular X-Men characters come back completely, even potentially with like classic 90s era costumes, which would be just the best. But which characters would I like to see? Here's my quick top five X-Men characters I wanna see make an appearance in this game. However, I don't include some because I feel there are certain characters that are an absolute given within the Fantastic Four and X-Men universe. Specifically, Wolverine has to be in this game. Sentinel has to be in the game if they are gonna choose X-Men characters, as well as Storm, Magneto, and of course, Doctor Doom. These characters are so heavily associated with Marvel vs. Capcom that it would just be weird not to have them, so I do kind of hope that they take priority over anyone else. But there are five characters that I personally would like to see show up in this game, and here they are starting with number five, and it's Cyclops. Cyclops has always been the proud leader of the X-Men from as long as I can remember, and has always been a genuinely really fun character in the Versus games. I would love to see him back just because it feels weird not to have him. Next up is another one that I think a lot of you guys would like to see, and he was the main Marvel character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and that's Cable. While being heavily known as a keep-away character, he's actually not that bad if he doesn't have something like a Captain Corridor assist. Cable would be an excellent addition to this game, using his time bombs, using the multiple lasers and guns that he uses throughout all of the freaking novels that he's been in. I think Cable is a very cool character with his time travel abilities and everything like that, so please put him in. He looks freaking awesome. Next up is another character that I think a lot of people would love to see back, especially in her classic form, and it is Psylocke. Being one of the more fun characters in the entirety of the Versus series, in my opinion, I would love to see Psylocke back. She also has my personal favorite sprite from Marvel vs. Capcom games, which just looks in freak incredible still to this day. And she's always been a very fun character, not to mention one of the best assist characters in Marvel 2, bar none. I think a lot of people would like to play as her more than just use her as an assist character. Next up is something that I'm personally attached to because I find it to be an awesome villain and is on the cover of one of my favorite covers of all time, and it is Omega Red. He was primarily introduced as a villain way early on in the X-Men comics as a Wolverine villain, but Omega Red was always really damn fun with what he could do in X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Some very interesting stuff, and I've always liked the way Omega Red looks, outside of the very obvious red costume and blonde hair. Last but not least is a character that I played from my very, very, very early competitive days in Marvel vs. Capcom when I was a wee teenager, and it is Gambit. And it's no surprise that everyone wants Gambit back in Marvel vs. Capcom. This character is bar none the epitome of cool and represents badass characters in the X-Men series. There are a few other characters that I find to be pretty damn badass up there with like Cable and Psylocke and Omega Red, but Gambit takes the freaking cake and is the epitome of cool in comics and I just want to see him come back considering he was not in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. If we had all these characters, as well as Magneto, Storm, Sentinel, Wolverine, and Doom, which I feel are given in regards to returning X-Men slash Fantastic Four characters, my god, the roster of this game could be freaking insane. Literally dream come true material. I'm not... I'm not putting money down right now. I hope the game is successful enough to warrant the amount of DLC that could be available in the future, much less future iterations of the game, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But either way, if this stuff does come true in some way or another, or X-Men characters are introduced to this title that is heavily MCU focused, that could be freaking awesome because it means we're gonna get just as many Capcom characters to the Marvel characters that are added as DLC. And my God, this game could end up being a dream match of epic proportions, even satisfying my need for a game like Capcom All-Stars. This is hopeful news for the future of the game, but this is way down the line. We're talking about DLC at this point, but based on all the stuff we're hearing coming from sources that are directly people talking about the game that are developers, as well as other folks that have leaked information and news that did end up coming true 100%, 
I would like to say that this is a very high possibility. As always, dudes, let me know what characters you would like to see in regards to the X-Men slash Fantastic Four series. There's a bit more I want to talk about in regards to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite that I'll be making videos about coming up over the next week or so, including my top Capcom characters and my top Marvel characters that are going to make it into this that are not X-Men related. As always, guys, thank you a ton for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.